hello beautiful souls. But again, there's that energy of this being both exhilarating and terrifying to him simultaneously. And yet, ultimately, I have to say I'm really feeling most likely the outcome here is that he is going to continue opening his heart to this self-discovery, to this spiritual awakening happening through your connection with man holding a heart upright. I do feel this masculine will choose to continue coming towards you and will make that decision with indecision in the reverse position. So what else can I channel about this situation? Let's pull an emotion card. Yeah, we have success. This feels like a really strong indicator of what the masculine here is going to choose. That he is going to choose to move forward with you and with this connection, as scared as I feel that he is. But I also know that whenever you are aligning with this reading, it's very likely that at this moment in time, things still feel very unknown. There might be some feelings of fear or insecurity coming up within you or again, maybe just disinterest. You're beginning to wonder, will this person be able to match my energy? And I'm hearing your guides say if you are in that position, to remain in your power and continue to allow this masculine to show you his true colors gradually over the course of time. To allow him to make his own decision here and to show you what he's decided through his actions and not through words or through conversation. Yeah, with chemistry in the upright position, I feel that the reason the masculine is almost inevitably being pushed to say yes to your connection is because he's feeling magnetically drawn to you in a really irresistible kind of way. We also have deception reversed, so if you've been sensing that this masculine has been holding something back and it's been off-putting to you, even if you can't quite explain what you feel is being held back, know that I feel some truth is going to come to light. I feel like he's going to come forward and go to that deeper level. Express something raw, something real, something that really rings true to you here at a deeper level. And you are going to feel that reignition of your interest and a feeling of pull towards him as that truth is uncovered and you see that he is developing that deepening self-awareness that we were talking about earlier. By the way, thank you so much to all of you who have been leaving positive reviews for the app in the App Store. I do read all of these reviews and I am so grateful to each and every one of you for your support. The final cards to come out here are Arise and Beyond the Threshold of Fear. Our fitting, because I feel the masculine here is being pushed past the threshold of his own fear and also being pushed to rise up to the challenge here. So I'm just going to read the final guidebook message. Enter the lion's jungle. Don't think about getting hurt. Fearful thoughts are phantoms of the mind. No one is harmed in this jungle. Everything is compassion and love. It is your fear holding you back like a bar behind the door. Rumi, from Divine Muscular. Type yes if you believe. The guidebook also says, after so long, you are changing your relationship to fear. No more shall it hold you in its thrall. You are becoming able to observe it, to witness it, even to have compassion rather than resistance. Instead of unconsciously sabotaging your growth, the masculine energy who's been coming through is someone who is really energetically clearing his throat chakra. I wanted to say like he's clearing his throat because he wants to say something to you, Divine Feminine. I'm getting the number 777 for someone. And I do want to share some of the conscious downloads I've been receiving. As always, if you would like to manifest a specific message from the reading, I do recommend liking the video and subscribing to the channel. This does allow me to pick up more easily on your energy and channel more specifically for you, both here and in this video, and also in future videos as well. But I do have to tell you right away, this reading does feel very hyper-specific to a group of divine feminines, so it will not be for everyone 
and only take this if it does connect with you. Now, some of the conscious downloads I've been receiving. Let's just get right into it. So, first of all, this is a very deep soul connection, very ancient. I want to say this also has the feeling of a connection that has been going on for a while in the physical 3D world. Now that might not necessarily be the case for all of you, but I'm getting that for 80 to 90 plus percent of people this message is for, this is a masculine that you've been consciously connected to for a very long time. Whether this is months, years, for some of you, this could even be decades. This feels like also another conscious download I'm getting from this person is this is someone who will seem to, at times, disappear from your consciousness, and then all of a sudden, they come back in full force, stronger than ever before. So this might be someone that you don't actively talk to, engage with, interact with, or possibly even think or dream about for, let's say, weeks or months at a time, and then all of a sudden, they pop back into your energetic field. Or it's almost like they come online in your timeline, and it is like an explosion of energy. And what also happens is whenever this person does pop back into your reality in this way, and I don't necessarily even mean in your physical life, like they could just be popping back up into your mind, into your energy in a really big way. But the thing about this is I feel like whenever this masculine energy does come online in this way in your consciousness again, it feels like the energy is so strong it almost